Two weeks from tomorrow, a hip hop party is coming to Moline. Summer Jam 2024 will feature four different artists, and it's all kicking off with Torian Ball, who was born and raised in East Moline. Earlier, News 8's Shelby Kluver sat down with Torian to talk about his Quad City homecoming and finding connection through music. We are joined by Torian Ball, who's about to take the stage here in Moline. Torian, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Why don't you introduce yourself to people? You're born and raised in East Moline. What kind of music do you make? Um, I rap. You know, I make hip hop, pop, R and B. Um, I've been rapping my entire life. Uh, my career began right in the halls of Glenview Middle School. Um, I did a uh, dedication. My first song I ever wrote was dedicated to a friend of mine that had passed away that we were supposed to do the talent show together. And um, I made an RIP song for him. I didn't really know what I was doing, but uh, I went in there and I rapped and I had my eyes closed. I had some dark shades on. And um, yeah, uh, I opened my eyes at the end of the performance and the entire auditorium was in tears. And, you know, they called my grandparents and they were like, hey, you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but your grandson has a gift. And um, I've been using that gift for the rest of my life and it's taught me and, and taken me to some amazing places. Yeah, let's talk about that. You got signed with an artist out of Chicago and you yeah. are now living out in LA. I mean, where has your music career taken you? Um, it's taken me all over the country. Um, but yeah, I started out, I got signed by Twista at the age of 13. Um, I went on tour with him and Kanye West um, at a very young age. So I got introduced to the music industry very young and I just felt like that was God giving me a glimpse of what my life was going to be like as I got older. And he was just kind of planting that seed, you know? Yeah, you talk a lot about, you know, you have a, you resonate with your fans a lot and they resonate with you because of the mm -hmm. types of things that you talk about in your music. What do you like to focus on when it comes to your songs? Um, I like to deem myself as the king of relatable rap. Um, I speak for the everyday person, you know what I mean? I feel like music has a lot of extremes right now. And I feel like the world doesn't really need another star. They need a human being, somebody to remind us all that we all are human and that we are all connected through our experiences. And so I like to talk about my experiences, the heartbreaks, the ups, the downs, relationship things, mental health things, things that really matter to people. And I feel like God gave me a gift to put emotions into words. So I speak for a lot of people that have been through things that they can't describe and that they can't really put into words how they feel or how to heal from it. And I give them that light at the end of the tunnel. And now you're about to come back, come back home to the Quad Cities and perform. I mean, what's that like for you to perform at the Vibrant? Um, this, I think this is going to be my fourth or fifth time um, performing at the Vibrant. And every time I feel like it's just a reminder to the community that anything is possible, you know, and that's really the biggest take back for me is that I want to show not only just my city in East Moline and Watertown where I come from that we can do amazing things but I want to show the entire Quad Cities that no matter what you want to do no matter how big your dream is or no matter how much your imagination can go wild that you can really manifest these things and you can really turn this into a reality like I have. Well before I let you go uh, you know, we've reported in the past few months about how the Vibrant hasn't had a ton of music bookings this summer and, you know, even less when it comes to rap and hip hop. It's a genre that's not really seen at the Vibrant a lot in over the last few months, the last few years. Uh, why should people come out? Why do you think this is going to be a great time and opportunity for people to see this? I think that in the Quad Cities, um, there's a huge rap community. There's a huge support for hip hop in the Quad Cities. It's just about, there's a lot of people that aren't in tune with that. You know, there's a younger generation that truly loves hip hop. It's the biggest genre in the world. And um, I don't think that, you know, I think that in the Quad Cities, they're so used to doing the rock concerts, the pop concerts, the country concerts, because, you know, as in business, that's what works. And, but the moment they start booking more artists that are relevant to the people in the community, I feel like the bigger and bigger the hip hop community is going to get and the supporters are going to come out. We've seen it. They come out. The Mississippi Valley Fair is now starting to book a lot more rap and hip hop because they know that's what sells and that people are going to come out and support that. This is a top 40 region. You know, so we hear it all. You know, what I mean, I grew up listening to everything from Britney Spears to, you know, 
Bone Thugs and Harmony. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, it's like um, once they really start investing more into creating these opportunities and events for the people that come out, they're going to do more and more of it. And I'm excited to be at the Vibrant on August 10th. And I'm excited. There's actually another show that I'm going to be doing at the Ben Expo Center as well in September. So I'll be coming back one more time, man, to just continue to keep pushing that envelope and be in the face of rap in Quad Cities and be in the face to show the community that, hey, anything is possible. And I'm here repping you guys at home and all across the world. I love it. Torian, thank you so much for your time today. And we wish you the best of luck at the Vibrant in two much. weeks. Appreciate you. You can catch Torian at the Vibrant Arena at the Mark and Moline in two weeks. Summer Jam 2024 will be on Saturday, August 10th. It will be a night full of hip hop featuring four different artists. Torian will kick things off around 7 p.m.